Hi guys, it's Shelly here. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me on this video. Today I'll be colouring the Easter egg page in Kenoka Egusa's Symphony of Cute Animals. This is yet an uncoloured book for me, so my first page, so it's great to be starting on this book uh, today. I will be colouring with my Faber-Castell Albrecht Dura pencils. For the background, I'll be using water with them, but for the rest of the picture, I will use them dry. So they have exactly the same shades as polychromos, just so you're aware. I will start with background like I normally do, and then work with the rest of the picture. On this video, I'll be covering the background, the um, eggs, the colour of the eggs, and then the leaves on the outside um, surrounding the Easter egg. I wanted to keep the background very simple because I wanted the main focus to be on the Easter eggs. I've chosen very subtle colours for the background in the eggs. My idea was to have East ceramic easter eggs which have been painted on so the color of the easter egg itself will be quite um, subtle and then the illustrations within the easter eggs are going to be quite vibrant so hopefully it comes across i'm not sure how to make something look ceramic i've just chosen very um, creamy colors for the egg so hopefully it works um, but yeah, that was my thought process for this page. I wanted the elements on this page to look like they're 3D or that they're popping off of the page. Um, so my main aim with the background was to create shadows in such a way that the objects on this page, like the Easter eggs, the flowers, the leaves, the stems, look like they're basically popping out so I assumed that the light source from the top left corner of the page and that the shadows I'm going to create with the green pencils I'm using um, will coincide with where the light is hitting or where the shadows are being created by these objects and hopefully it will give that effect that they're standing off the page rather than having a 2D flat um, look to them. For the Easter eggs to help them look a bit more ceramic than they will at the end of this video, I will be using Posca pens. So once I color the illustrations within the Easter eggs, I'll be adding quite a bit of Posca pen to sort of add highlights to make the surface of the egg look a bit more reflective so hopefully that will help with the eggs looking a bit ceramic at present or at the end of this video they will not look ceramic um, but hopefully once the picture is done it will for the greens of the leaves and the stems that are outside the Easter eggs I'll be using quite realistic greens I don't like to use bright greens that much when it comes to leaves so once this video is completed and you see the picture at the end uh, showing you where we have reached in the process of coloring this page the page may look a little bit dull but on the next video, when we come in to start colouring in the illustrations in each egg and the flowers surrounding the Easter eggs, there'll be lots of colour coming into the page and hopefully it will look nice and happy, spring-like and colourful. So I will leave you guys now to watch the video and hopefully enjoy it and I hope to see you in the next video where we'll continue colouring um, the Easter eggs. Hope you enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye!